All right, the latest right now you can see here with Tropical Storm Zeta. Winds are at 70 miles per hour. It's moving northwest at 10 miles per hour here. So it hasn't been moving very fast, but a little bit faster than it was yesterday when it was stationary. New showers and thunderstorms really starting to flare up here in the middle of where the icon is here. And that was from as of 10 o'clock this morning. And what's likely happening here is that the wind shear is finally starting to relax a little bit, allowing those thunderstorms to grow a little bit and expand out. And this is where it is expected to become a hurricane later this afternoon on into the evening hours before it does make landfall this evening there over the Yucatan Peninsula, not too far from Cancun to Cozumel, crossing just over that tip there of the Yucatan, very similar what Delta did a couple weeks ago, and still remaining itself as a hurricane when it emerges in the southern part of the Gulf of Mexico Tuesday morning there, and then continuing to be a hurricane with still over some warmer water, not much wind shear out here of the southern and central part of the Gulf of Mexico, so it's expected to still be an 80 mile per hour hurricane, but then it's going to start making that turn to the north, and as it makes that turn to the north, it'll start battling some wind shear as that next cold front starts moving on in slightly cooler water temperatures out there and some drier air. So this is likely going to be a very messy storm as it works its way where it looks to be more now likely into southeast Louisiana as a weak hurricane, a category one with winds around 75 miles per hour by 7 p.m. on Thursday, Wednesday. So we will see this storm Wednesday night into early Thursday morning coming on in. Now there's still a little wiggle room here with that trough kind of deciding how far west or east this storm will go. At this point, it's still make its way over towards say uh, inter intercoastal city or Morgan City off to the west and maybe over toward Mobile Bay here off to the east. So still have to watch and see once it's in the Gulf. We'll kind of see how it interacts and when it starts to make that northerly turn, give us a better feel of what it'll do and when it'll make landfall here in southeast Louisiana. Then it quickly here by 7 a.m. on Thursday is already up near Birmingham and by Friday morning it's already <clears throat> in the Atlantic Ocean. So this is going to be a really quicker mover as it moves on in. You can see the forecast models kind of agreeing that southeast Louisiana seems to be the bullseye with this one here uh, as it moves on in. There's some still over toward Lafayette, others again over toward Mobile Bay, but in between of course is the New Orleans area. So what we're watching for is that landfall as a hurricane on Wednesday evening between Louisiana and Alabama and the coastlines here is where we're kind of getting a narrowing down a little bit of where that landfall is going to be. Now it's not expected to be a very big hurricane, so the impacts won't be widespread. So that's some good news. It's also going to be a fast moving storm too. So the timing of the trough front and how it's going to interact with Zeta is going to be the big thing we need to watch out for. So here's how it plays out with high pressure sitting over Florida. That's going to steer Zeta here across the Yucatan tonight into the Gulf of Mexico. Then here comes our trough that is going to be pulling it northward. Now if the trough is slower, then that means the storm would move farther to the west. If the trough is faster, it would move it farther off to the east. So we'll be waiting to see how that timing plays out as well before the system gets absorbed into this trough, which is that big cold front, which is going to bring us some cooler weather in. Now the forecast model is somewhat of agreement now, but you can see the European is a little bit more to the west still versus the GFS. This is about 8 o'clock on Wednesday with landfall somewhere right here, uh, probably over Lower Terrebonne Parish, where the kind of the average of the two models are. So what we're going to see here is that the warm water now will allow it to be a hurricane as it gets into the southern Gulf, still warm to water temperatures in the 80s here, but to get into the 70s. Now that would normally help to really weaken it, but since it's going to be moving fairly quickly, not going to have a huge impact. So that means a fast moving storm means the impacts are going to stay low for us. Two to four inches of rain here, but look as you go past or west of I-55, maybe only a quarter of an inch at best across the Baton Rouge area, maybe three to five inches there across Mississippi up I-59. So we're not going to see a ton of rain here and we can handle that. That's some good news. As for the winds, been trying to uh, get this the best guess for you here. Tropical storm, or rather hurricane force winds possible along the coastline, potentially 50 to 60 mile per hour winds. This is as of right now, maybe from the city off to the east and the city to the west, maybe 40 to 50. And then the winds will die down the farther east west to go as well to across the state. So we are looking at potentially some strong winds across the area here. And you can see on precision cast with the landfall tonight, rain starts moving in Tuesday here, continuing to get some pretty good rain throughout overnight into Wednesday morning throughout the day Wednesday with landfall there Wednesday evening so you can see where the storm is here kind of right over top of us before quickly going to Alabama by Thursday and then racing its way farther off to the east and our weather drastically improves for Thursday Friday even on into Saturday for Halloween so we are going to have some really nice weather but we have to get through the hurricane first by the way you can see all the storms here four of which of course made landfall in Louisiana so far this year that is the record so this would be a new record uh, when this one does make landfall if it still holds true to be on Louisiana as we head into Wednesday so right now some sunshine temperature 78 
78 in Slidell, 75 in Hammond, 76 here in 79 in Homa. And you'll see here are basically just a few clouds out there. Temperatures do get to the 80s this afternoon, about 82 degrees, a little bit of a breeze. So you have time to get those preps done tomorrow. The rain moves in a lot of rain Wednesday, but look at Thursday, 74 and 60s for high Friday with a decent weather for Halloween. All right, something to look forward to. Thanks, Dave. We do have a treat.